the defense. Yeah, go ahead. I can. Can I give a different example? Only, only if you can tell us who Steve, Steve Nash is. <laughs> Steve Nash is a basketball player, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> retired, I think, yeah. retired, retired basketball player. So, um, this this is more in support of the basketball uh, being more positionless. If you've ever, uh, if you if you play on the right side, um, and you get switched, this for soccer. Uh, if you play on the right side, you get switched to the left side. Uh, as a player, it's a very awkward feeling, and you notice this in games all the time. Players will excel on one side of the pitch; they get moved over, and suddenly they're struggling. Right? Um, when and. In, in football, when you play in a position, there's a mentality that comes with it, right? You, it's not just about what you do in the position, it's about how you think and how you think in one position is gonna differ from position to position. So if you spend so much time being uh, as a right mid and your thought process as a right mid, the way you dribble also changes because you what you expect also changes which foot you're using. If, if you're a right mid who's left footed, you're usually expected to cut in to shoot, right? Whereas if you're a, a right mid who's right footed, right, you're expected to send more crosses in. Yeah. And if you switch it to the other side, it changes as well. There's a reason why th uh, teams try to keep the right side of the field with right footed players and the left side of the field with left footed players. Every single right back you see on a top club is right footed. Every single left back you see on a top club is left footed, right? But now when you move forward one, suddenly they switch it up. The left uh, winger or the left mid becomes right footed and the right mid or the right winger becomes left footed. Oh, yeah, go ahead, Milton. Uh, we're going to move on to the next topic, but I will say okay, all people who oh, can really? say that. IK can't say that because Cesar Espiriqueta for Chelsea for years was on the left side, but that's fine. Also, I will point out to the fact that there is a superstition around having left side too many left-sided players on a team in soccer. But we're just going to move on for that because I feel aggressed. Thank you for checking out the Total Foot Podcast today. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like and the subscribe button and check out some of the other videos we have available as well. Thank you very much.